Chapter 5 Movement Lack of activity destroys the good condition of every human being, while movement and methodical physical exercise save it and preserve it. Plato One of my favorite ways to create movement is through yoga. Research studies have shown that traditional yoga, the union of physical, mental, and spiritual practices that includes breathing exercises, asanas, body postures, chants, and meditation, can reduce stress and improve immunity and lung functions, while a consistent yoga practice often gets recognized for improving flexibility Many overlook its ability to improve muscular strength as well. Poses like the down dog and plank, along with all the warrior poses, build up muscle fibers to tone and strengthen your muscles. And while many forms of physical fitness emphasize muscle strength, yoga balances both strength and flexibility. Yoga is a practice that creates balance, both mind and body. So we must remember to incorporate both if we want to maintain a sustainable practice to last us a lifetime. According to Dr. Deepak Chopra, when we are coping with emotional pain, a purely mental or intellectual approach usually is not enough. Although our minds may try to think their way out of pain, they can quickly become confused or trapped in repetitive thought patterns that intensify our emotional turmoil. When we invite our bodies and spirits to be part of the healing process, however, transformation can unfold. The ancient wisdom tradition of yoga offers practices that unite the mind, body, and spirit, allowing us to experience deep emotional well-being and restful awareness. When your physical, intellectual, and spiritual selves are working in union, your life becomes more balanced, and you become more flexible, both physically and emotionally. The seven spiritual laws of yoga program that Dr. Deepak Chopra and Dr. David Simon developed is rooted in India's ancient Vedic tradition. It is designed to raise your level of physical vitality, clear emotional blockages from your heart, and awaken your happiness and enthusiasm for life. The remarkable benefits of yoga, which include improved flexibility, balance, muscle tone, endurance, and vitality, only hint at the extraordinary power of this deeply spiritual practice. When adhered to and practiced mindfully, Yoga can unlock your full creative potential, capacity for love and compassion, and ability to find success in all areas of your life. The Seven Spiritual Laws of Yoga brings spirituality back to yoga. It shows how the seven spiritual laws play a crucial role in yoga's path to enlightenment, while providing listeners with a wealth of meditation techniques, mantras, breathing exercises, and yoga poses. Whether a newcomer to yoga or an experienced practitioner, the seven spiritual laws of yoga is a portal to yoga's deeper spiritual dimension and a beautiful step to a happier, more harmonious, and more abundant life. The seven laws of yoga are as follows. 1. The Law of Pure Potentiality Your internal reference point is your soul, rather than seeking constant approval by others. 2. The Law of Giving and Receiving The universe operates through dynamic exchange. When the life force is flowing freely through your body and mind, you are in natural alignment with the generosity and receptivity of the universe. 3. The Law of Karma, Cause and Effect Every action we take generates a force of energy that returns to us in kind. As we sow, so we reap. 4. The Law of Least Effort Nature's intelligence functions with effortless ease. There is rhythm and balance in the natural world. And when you are in harmony with nature, you can activate the law of least effort to maximize your rewards. 5. The Law of Intention and Desire This is based upon the recognition that at the quantum field, there is nothing other than energy. This is the field of pure potentiality. Be clear about your intentions and desires into conscious awareness and surrender the outcome to the universe, understanding that at the quantum level field, there is nothing other than energy has required faith and my complete trust. 6. The Law of Detachment 
to acquire something in this world, you have to relinquish your attachment to the outcome. Attachment is based on fear and insecurity. According to the principles of yoga, the only true security comes from your willingness to embrace the unknown. Whenever I have experienced challenges in my life, this law has served me well over the years because I was willing to embrace the unknown and relinquish the outcome. 7. The Law of Dharma This states that every human being has a purpose in life. You are a unique person. You have unique abilities and your way of expressing them. Every experience in the mind is accompanied by shifts in the body's chemistry. When you say, I feel depressed, you are acknowledging that your body is generating disturbing sensations. These sensations result from changes in hormone levels and in the pattern of nerve firings within your nervous system. These psychological shifts can persist long after the emotionally upsetting experience that first triggered them. Over time, your mind-body system reflects your emotional history. Through yoga, you can release the emotional toxicity stored in the body. Just as changing thought patterns can influence the body, changing the position of the body can influence the mind and facilitate emotional release. As you stretch your muscles and expand your range of motion, you shift the bodily patterns that trap emotional pain. Yoga poses, breathing practices, and meditation release the constriction and free the flow of the vital life force energy known as prana. Let go of the need to compare yourself to others. If you think that nothing will work out, you can repeat to yourself, life is good, life always leads me in the right direction. The universe is conspiring in your favor. The perfect solution is unfolding for you right now. Instead of getting stuck in feelings of helplessness, affirm, I always have choices and opportunities. My life is constantly improving. I see new possibilities in every moment. Recognize your thoughts that are not serving you and let them go. Be patient with yourself and know that at first, you may not believe what you are telling yourself. Refuse to believe the dire messages your mind is generating. They are simply conditioned through patterns that you have created. You have the power to create new, more nurturing beliefs. This takes time and effort, but the rewards are well worth it. Slow, deep, conscious breathing is effective in promoting the relaxation response to counter elevated levels of stress hormones. An important component of yoga is paying close attention to what is always going on in the body and locating and releasing any areas of tension. Although you can feel the healing effects of yoga after just one session, regular practice is required if you want to experience the full benefits yoga offers. In addition, yoga should ideally be practiced with the guidance of an experienced teacher. There are many yoga styles and traditions to choose from. Some have a greater focus on physical fitness, while others are more meditative and spiritually based. It is important to explore and find a practice and teacher that resonate with you. As we discussed in Chapter 4 about nutrition, diet may play a part in protecting against depression. Mediterranean countries have low rates of depression compared to countries further to the north, and it is not just because they get more sunlight or have a more relaxed way of life. One large-scale study tracked almost 3,500 people living in London for five years and found that those who ate a Mediterranean diet were 30% less likely to develop depression. Researchers speculate that the foods in the Mediterranean diet may act synergistically to enhance mood. Olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish are rich in omega-3 and other unsaturated fatty acids that can help restore balance to the body. Fresh fruits and vegetables contain flavonoids and photochemicals that are full of antioxidants and folates, B vitamins. Depression is sometimes described as anger turned inward. Many people were taught growing up that it is not polite to express anger and other emotions. They push their unacceptable feelings down for many years. But ultimately, these disowned feelings may manifest as depression. After my loving mother passed away unexpectedly, I was in great pain. 
I was suppressing my deep sadness and feeling of such an incredible loss in my life. I felt a sense of numbness and disconnection from myself and others. It was through the healing power of yoga movements and focused breathing that I learned to minimize and eventually wash away my incredible sadness and my deep sense of loss. And I was able to accept, acknowledge, and love myself again. Reestablishing this connection inside yourself is not difficult, but if you have developed a habit of avoiding yourself or your feelings, it will require some discipline and commitment to overcome the old patterns and establish new patterns. After my mother died unexpectedly, I found it helpful to write my feelings in a journal at the beginning of the day. At the end of the day, I wrote about what I was grateful for in my life. And I poured it all out on the page with grace and gratitude for God's benevolence. If you are experiencing depression or sadness, you may find journaling helpful, especially if you do it daily. Also, practice yoga or your favorite exercise daily. And pay close attention to your breathing, your body language, your tone of voice, your muscle tension, and where your mind moves to distract you. Notice everything you can with loving indifference. You are neither improving nor disapproving of your behavior, and neither trying to change it nor keeping it the same. Maintain this gentle self-awareness of these behaviors that are walling you off from yourself. Without trying to change your habits, you will find that just by being fully present and aware, the grip of the old habits will fade, and new, fresh, and spontaneous responses will take their place. Listen and notice the new growth of what is starting to emerge in you. You will release a lot of physical and emotional tension at this point, so you will need channels to release it. I find that self-care is important for my well-being and I enjoy yoga, swimming, massage, dancing, and singing. Let your heart guide you to any music, movies, or natural surroundings that can also support your release process. Being a kapha, I like energizing music with a solid bass line accompanied by higher tones. I like all kinds of drums, bells, chimes, panpipes, and electric keyboards. If you are a vata, you are overactive. A peaceful and mellow mood using meditative music that has a soft and melodic tone, such as a cello, and a balanced wind instrument like a flute, will have a grounding and calming effect and will balance you. If you are a pita, an excellent way to create balance would be listening to nature sounds, particularly music that incorporates running water and ocean waves. Also, music with mid range tones featuring instruments like the saxophone, or any type of slow and arrhythmic percussion or drum, will have a soothing and balancing effect on a pita dosha. In summary, bringing yourself back into balance means that you are aware enough to make decisions and can put them into practice. Be patient with yourself, and do not expect any single practice or technique to completely end your sadness or depression. Be kind to yourself and remember that your essential nature is pure love, pure spirit, and pure potentiality.